Welcome back to Chai Access Blog. I'm going to teach you how to make a doormat or rug in your home using the stash, uh, stash yarn or the leftover yarn that you have in your house. This is very simple one. I use the 8.mm crochet hook and scissors only and then this stitch will be a simple but beautiful one using our leftover yarn so we're gonna start some will be my base will be this one uh, a gray one so slip slip knot as you can see this yarn is a very soft and cotton compared to what i'm using and knitting regular one it's like a double or triple size of the regular yarn that I'm using before and most of the time they use it as a bear or blanket or something but now I'm going, going to make a doormat or rug uh, using this yarn so slip knot and then um, chain 30 chain 30 it's also recommended for absolute beginner it's so easy chain 30 so here now i reach a 30 counts and then so we are going to double crochet two times skip uh, two stitch or two loops one two and three for the third stitch you have to double crochet two times one and two the first chain two chains considered as one to make it a three counts of double crochet on the same stitch and then you skip two again one two and this time for the third loop we need to do a three double crochet three double crochet on the same stitch or loop yes and do the same stitch until you reach the last loop here the last stitch on the other side so here we go guys i finished the three double crochet to the last stitch or last loop so what's next we're going to do chain two one and two and three double crochet again to the same loop so you can turn your work to the other side of the projects so one two and three so once again it will be our corner so uh, chain two more one two and three double crochet again to the same stitch the last stitch that we make uh, three double crochet so it will be like uh, three times double crochet on this side on the last part so we're going to do that here too but this time it's only six double crochet three and double crochet so i'll finish it and i'll show you later so here we go guys uh i'll be uh double crochet three times on this last stitch that we started so three times first uh three double crochet one two and three so we need to make two chain one and two and then once again three double crochet on the same stitch one two and three so make two more chain one two chain two so it will be balanced on the other side it will be our corner we have to uh, join them slip stitch on this the first uh, counts of our works and then 
close it and cut the yarn pull it tight there we go this is our first rows so it will be the back and this is the i mean this is our front and this is our back so we're going to work on it so i'll choose uh i will choose maybe yellow i'll choose yellow for this one for our second color combination so wherever you want to start it's fine and the do the same process same stitch so here i'm gonna do here i will start here and a uh, chain slip knot of course first and then i'm gonna hide the tail so later on it will not be a hassle to me so chain three one two and three and then two double crochet one two and three the same hole here the same corner uh, chain two and then this time it's three double crochet three double crochet one two and one one moment three so as you can see uh it's a count three and chain two and double crochet three times here in the same hole or corner then after that three double crochet in between of our works here it's up to you if you want here and what using the one loop or here in between of it's fine but now i'm going to use here this side so three double crochet as you can see there continue doing the same stitch three double crochet every in each uh, hole here in our first row and do here the three double crochet chain two and three double crochet in corner in every corner so it will be balanced so here we go i'm on the other side of the corner here so three double crochet one moment three double crochet chain two and three double crochet to the same hole or corner of your project and then after that three double crochet to the next one yes that's it do the same pattern in this corner what you did here to balance the project so this is the second row of our projects so this uh just a slip stitch here on your first uh, count and uh secure it and cut the yarn or if you want to continue you don't need to cut the yarn just uh do the same stitch until you finish the desired length on wide on your works on your projects the same stitch just the same process so whatever the color you like just do the same stitch so i'll be back to you once i done finish or once i'm done doing this project 
So here guys my finished product. So keep fresh this one.